Shadow V2M. I have already set up this cube, but out of the box is slow, crunchy, and has an overall dry feeling. And it's definitely one of the cubes where you need to set it up and break it in. It's not one that will immediately blow you away right out of the box. The setup I did mostly involve adding some gummy loop and breaking it in for about 20 solves or so. And after that, it does spoon out, but not completely. It still leaves behind some crunchy feel, which I feel that is quite similar to the crunchiness of the Fog 5M. And at this point, it's not a matter of better or worse, but a matter of brand identity instead. And like the Shadow V2M is being consistent with the brand identity of Shi. As for external appearance, it's quite a clean looking 6x6. So unlike the MGC where the pieces are a bit more beveled, the surface of the Shadow V2M does look a significant amount flatter, and it's not the ultimate flattest cube out there. I do think the Shadow V1 is even less beveled than the V2, but at least if you compare it with the Aoshi GTS, I do think the Shadow V2 and the Aoshi GTS do have a lot in common in terms of external. The size of the Shadow V2 is 64mm, and Outer layer is about the same size as the outshoot GTS, but the inner layers are smaller, so it gives the Shadow V2 a bigger outer to inner layer ratio, which is nice for the 3x3 stage. When comparing with the MGC on the other hand, the MGC is just bigger in all around, regardless of whether it's total cube size or outer or inner. Because of that, I do think the ratios of the layers are quite similar. The average strength of all three magnets is actually comparable to that of the MGC. The MGC is more equal across all three of its magnets, whereas on the shadow, the third layer and the second layer are a bit stronger than the first. And the second layer in particular has the strongest magnet, but the third layer has slightly higher friction. So the second and third layer turn with a similar amount of effort, whereas the outer turns with less effort. And I really like this combination personally because it does do a good job in preventing accidental double turns which I did actually get a fair share of those on the MGC and also the Shadow V1, like the one of the Shadow V1s that I borrowed in the past. If, if such misalignments happen during PL, the results can be really devastating. So on the Shadow V2, I do think this problem is avoided. Do like this magnet combination quite a lot better than the MGC. Uh, for corner cutting, I don't think the Shadow V2 is that spectacular, but it's definitely good enough to get the job done, so it can cut about slightly over a piece forward. And Maybe about slightly over half reverse. Okay, maybe exactly half reverse. And uh, comparing with the other 6x6s, the outshoot can cut, cut slightly better and so can the MGC, but it's like I don't really find the Shadow V2 limiting me in the actual source. It's more like when I purposely try to test the corner cutting, do I really notice the difference? For the inner layers, uh, I would more or less say the same thing, but once again, I would say that the Shadow V2's holes are not in vain. I do feel that I'm turning a well-rounded cube in, in a literal sense, where the inner layers at least feel round enough, and I'm, I've, it doesn't feel like a solid block where I have to finish each turn before I go into the next. I feel that I can also just flow from one turn to the next, quite similar to some of my other 6x6s. As for turn speed, the Shadow V2 is definitely a lot slower than the MGC, but I wouldn't say it's a matter of this cube being slow is more of the MGC being an, an unusually fast 6x6. If you were to compare with just the previous generation, in particular the Aoshu GTS, which is my previous main before the MGC, the speed across the Aoshu GTS and the Shadow V2 are actually really similar to each other. But like they feel slightly different in the sense where the Aoshu has a lot less friction, but the cube is a bit heavier, whereas the Shadow is lighter and the friction is a bit higher. So it in the end, it cancels out and it gives a very similar turning force across the two cubes. One other thing I've noticed with the Shadow V2 is it tends to be a little bit flexier and a little bit softer. With, with the MGC, the inners actually do feel really solid and like really stuck together. This one, I can kind of deform it a little bit more. I also found the Shadow V2 slightly easier to lock up with this, but like most of the time, it's just this piece and I can snap it back very easily and it, it does really very minimal damage to the soft. I can just un undo the lockup and proceed with the soft very quickly. The MGC on the other hand, I do find that that particular lockup is harder to get because like the piece has a structural feature to prevent that from happening. On the other hand, I do find that the 2x3 pieces tend to pop out a bit more often, whereas on the shadow, I totally don't get a single pop. I can't really force a pop to happen now, but I, I did get a fair share of it in source, but 
I think for in terms of pops, the Shadow does a better job, and in terms of deforming lockups, the MGC does a better job. When it comes to mechanism, I really don't have that much to say about the Shadow V2. The mechanism just looks exactly like what you would expect when you disassemble a Chi Yi cube. And the best cube to actually compare it to is the Shadow V1, because that's where you can see the changes, but I don't have a Shadow V1, so I my next closest alternative is the Valk 5, and the corners look pretty similar. You can see that all the way down to the track on the, on the corner, it's really similar. And the artistic design is also located in a really similar place. And both of them have four stripes, although the Valk 5 seems to have thicker stripes than the Shadow V2. The second and third layer actually looks quite similar in size to the Valk 5, and it's almost like it almost looks like what the Valk 5 would have been if the second layer was chopped into two smaller layers. And of course made into an even cube, so the third layer will extend to hide the hidden internal. And of course they have that signature curve of the Wu mechanism where there's this thing coming out. And it will hook underneath the empty part of the corner. Like that. The anti-stick design is mostly on the inner side, so this is the outer side and you can tell that it's smooth. The inner side has all the stripes. And that's really similar to the Valk 5, it has stripes on the inside but not on the outside. One notable difference between the Shadow V2 and the Valk 5 is that for the Shadow V2, the, like, the stripes go all the way down to the entire head of the piece. Whereas on the Valk 5, this inner part actually doesn't have stripes, it's only three stripes closer to the outside. And one other notable thing about the Shadow V2 is this particular piece because it's really hollow and empty. And you can really see that. Like the, the top surface is actually hollow and empty and it's just you can just see a few ribs on the top. Whereas if you were to compare it with something like an Aushu GTS, this entire piece here is actually filled up. Overall the Shadow V2 is a step up from the version 1. So the version 1 is Aushu GTS level plus minus a, a bit depending on your preference. Well the V2 is like MGC6 level but plus minus a bit depending on your preference once again and it has different features that make it stand out from the MGC and overall I find it quite hard to actually rule one cube as better than the other. It has a smaller size, stronger inner layer magnets and overall better control. While the MGC on the other hand is is better for its speed and it's slightly more solid feeling and like overall I do think that between the two is a really close call. I really like the size of the Shadow V2 and like wow. And I also love its magnet combination, while on MGC, I find that 65mm is a little bit clunky and the outermost magnets are a bit too strong for my liking. And yeah, the Shadow V2 definitely does give me a softer feel when I'm doing pure outer layer turning. However, the MGC has a much faster turning speed and the cube doesn't flex at all when I'm turning fast. So overall, I think I would still slightly prefer the MGC. For soft times, I can get quite close to 220 on both of them, but I do think the MGC has a slightly higher frequency of going under 220. The Shadow V2 is definitely really close and I, I would still re recommend this cube, especially if you like the Chi cubes and the feel, you can definitely go with that.